Hey everybody, James with Love My Pups, My Breed of Supply. Video on generally about nutrition and more about puppies and nutrition. And people ask me, what do we feed our puppies and when do we feed this and when do we change? So let's go over the various different things. So I'm going to start with some things that you need when you've got puppies that you should always have on hand. This is the starting point. So Puppies, uh, quite often you can have a puppy that needs some extra help, or a puppy that's not able to nurse, or a mum that doesn't have milk. In all those situations, the solution is goat's milk. And you can, we, in our puppy care kit, we give it to you in a, uh, a powdered form you can mix with warm water. Or you can just simply go to somewhere like Walmart, the Mainberg products I really like. And you can buy this, which is whole goat's milk. You can even buy condensed goat's milk in a, t in a tin. You will need to mix that 50-50 with, uh, with water. Okay, so how do you get a puppy to take that? Well, of course, the simplest way is nothing more than a feeding bottle. This is nothing special about this. It's a silicone nipple, zero, three months. Again, you get this in a puppy care kit. Um, lots of puppies will absolutely get after a bottle, no problem at all. But you can get into a situation where you have a weak, frail puppy that's not able to nurse. And in those situations, the only solution that you have is a feeding tube. <clears throat> Again, it comes in our puppy care kit. And honestly, if you are gonna have a litter of puppies, you need to go get yourself a feeding tube. You can either get our puppy care kit or go get a feeding tube. The problem you're gonna have is you won't find this silly little expensive thing anywhere in town where you need it. I would guess that uh, seven out of ten vets won't even have a feeding tube and you're not going to go to your farm supply store or Walmart or Kmart or anything like that and get a feeding tube you're just not going to find it but this is this trick right here this is the thing that will save a puppy that's in trouble puppies have the, the, the fundamentals of a puppy in the first you know seven days of its life is keeping warm not being squashed and being fed if you get those three things done then you have a very good chance that you're going to have a healthy, happy litter of puppies. Okay, so we just had a litter of 10 puppies, and in that litter there were four puppies that were five ounces. They are small puppies, and they take extra care. And the secret to that was two feeding. So how do you do it? I've got a whole video on it, so I'm not going to spend much time on it. But basically, you use a syringe, you take the feeding tube, and you put it to the bottom of their ribs, and then you measure it so it comes right out to their mouth and you put a little mark right there and that is as far as you want that feeding tube to go in where you know it won't be in their lungs. So if you were gonna feed me, you'd need a longer tube than this, but not a lot longer. For a puppy, it's gonna be around the, the uh, 10, 11 centimeter mark is what it'll be on, on, a, on a five ounce puppy. But let's not get into the specifics of this. I've got videos specifically on tube feeding, but this is a fundamental, it doesn't hardly cost a thing if you don't have it, you need to get it because I promise you, you're going to be in a situation where this is a lifesaver and you can't find it. And for the sake of a few dollars, do not skimp on that. Okay. So then the next thing is the puppies are now getting to the point where they need to transition them from mum's milk to a more solid food. We're basically what we call weaning the puppies. When do you wean the puppies? It could be as early as three weeks. Uh, if you've got a mum, that if you are the, the if you've got to be the mum, because your mother has got mastitis, um, has milk eclampsia, has not very good milk, or has a lot of puppies to feed, the sooner you can get the puppies weaned, the quicker you can get some poundage on them and give mum some relief. So then I'm going to talk about what we specifically feed our puppies. So we start with Royal Canine Puppy. Starter mousse, great stuff. Buy that at PetSmart. You can buy it online. And there's another version of it which they call Appetite, Appetite Stimulator. If you're having some puppies that are having a little bit of a hard time wanting to eat food, then maybe that product might help you as well. And then once, once they've got going on that for about a week, we're gonna transition them to something that's a bit more bulky. It's again, it's a puppy food. It's not so much a starter mousse, it's more of a puppy food. And it's got a bit more consistency to it. So I'm gonna mix some of this up to show you how we do this. So, <clears throat> we're gonna make a big mess here. 
hope Tammy's not watching. She'll watch this video and she'll, she'll ask what I was doing. Anyway, here we go, puppy starters. And open her up. Oh, I dropped it on the floor. Because like anything, like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, that thing landed, sticky side down. So, well, what do you think it tastes like? You want me to try it? I think that uh, you shouldn't be too frightened of tasting them. Hey, you could serve that up at a fancy restaurant and pretend it was pate, and I promise you people would gobble down. It tastes pretty darn good. First of all, I taste them. I generally do taste the dog foods that we're, the foods that we're feeding, because I feel like I'd like to know whether it tastes disgusting or not. And this does not taste, I mean, I know a lot of you are gonna be horrified to see me do that, but it's not disgusting at all. Okay, so what we do, for when we're starting out with this, we're gonna slop it up. So, you know, it's got some consistency to it, and you want it to be a bit runny, more like a gravy. So I'm really gonna make a mess here, and I'm gonna be in trouble. So, we're just gonna splash a little bit of this in there, not too much, a little bit more, there we go. And now, we're just going to make, and by the way, you can buy special bowls to feed puppies, and I think it makes absolute sense to have those, especially the kind that has a hump in the middle so the puppies can't walk across it and they have to go around it. Because puppies will absolutely, once they get the taste of this, they will absolutely be in it. And then they get to be pretty messy. And you don't want a puppy that's in it, and while he's in it, he's peeing in it or pooping in it at the same time as well. So I think that the kind of the bunt dish type bowl makes a lot of sense. But you can see what I've got going on here. I've got a kind of a sloopy mess. And what I like to do is I put that in the microwave and I blast it for about 15, 20 seconds and just make it warm because look, they're used to drinking milk from mum and milk from mum is coming out from a tea at about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And this stuff here is probably more like at about uh, 70 degrees. So give it a quick nuke, get it kind of warmed up. And so what I'll do in a bowl like this is I'll just put it around the outside edges like this and try and get the puppies to encourage them to, to gather around the outside and, and eat it. So that's what we're gonna start off with, is that's the starter. Then we're gonna to transition to, and again, this is Royal Canine. I like Royal Canine products, but look, this is not the only game in town. I mean, it, it's, it's a quality, if you're paying some money for it, it's probably a quality food. And don't feel as though you absolutely have to go get the products that we're showing. The important thing is, is to get these type of products. So again, this one is it's just called Puppy, it's not called puppy starter mousse. More solid, might wanna mix a little bit of milk with that when you get started. All right. I think that this is a fundamental piece of equipment. Have an electronic digital scale, be weighing your puppies every day. Because a puppy should be gaining at least half an ounce a day. And if it's gaining half an ounce a day and is a happy uh, puppy, then you've probably got things going right. If it's not gaining half an ounce a day, or it's not, it's lethargic, you've got a problem. It's, 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 puppy, uh, <coughs> Two feeding time and, and also uh, an incubator like the kinds that we sell probably makes is probably the, is your uh, road to recovery. Um, but a digital scale that's a must comes in a puppy care kit. Okay, then what do we transition to? So when we've got that done, let's talk about adults. People ask you if you're adults. Well, let's head you back. Hmm. Life's abundance. Got different flavors. You can buy that on our website. There's a puppy version of it and there's an adult version of it. This is great stuff. I love this food, it's not cheap. It's a really good quality food. We've had a lot of luck feeding this over the last few years. So we do endorse this product. But again, there's a, you know, if you're using Eucanuba Science Diet. You know, these are, there's a lot of good foods out there. So pay attention to labels. Watch out for what it's made, made up out of and uh, you'll probably be doing fine. Do I have anything else to show you in there? No. Okay, then let's just talk of medications that you are absolutely gonna do every time. <clears throat> so, puppies that need to be wormed at two and four and six and eight and 10 and 12 weeks. Um, this is what we give puppies for two and four weeks. Same as Nemex 2, but a lot less expensive way of buying it. And uh, it's not expensive and you don't need much of it. I'm not gonna give you the dosages because I, that's for you to find that out rather than me tell you something and you come back and sue me. Because remember, I'm not a vet. So you can buy that. Pretty, that bottle there is like 25 bucks and that's gonna do you many, many litters. 
Then at six weeks, eight, 10, 12 weeks, we give fendabendazole, which is trade name of it is Safeguard. It's actually a goat wormer. You can buy in all different sizes. Obviously this is a pretty big, you can see the dosages there. If you want to take it off that you can, but I would recommend you Google it. Very, very safe product. Kills all kinds of worms. It does do things like GRD and coccidia, but it's not the ultimate treatment for it. But you absolutely should be giving this stuff two, four, excuse me, at six, eight, ten. Every two weeks until they leave to go to their new homes, they should be getting this. And when you give this, by the way, this is for three days you give this. When you give this product on Nemex 2, this is a single dosage at two weeks and four weeks. Okay. What else do we give our dogs on a routine basis? Well, we give probiotics to dogs, especially dogs that have got loose stools. This is more adults, not puppies. But uh, a good probiotic, I think, is a, is a, it's, it's not risky. There's no danger in it. I think it's a good thing to do. And then, you know, vitamins, you can get pet tabs. We give little chewable vitamins. We give these to all of our dogs. And again, I'm not particularly endorsing these, these particular brands. This is just happens to the one that Tammy's been getting. Um, okay. I think that is it. Um, that is it, I think, on, on, the, on the puppy side of it. So good luck with your puppies. Pay attention to them. If they're gaining half an ounce a day, they wriggle when you pick them up. A good test of a puppy, put your thumb, put your little finger in its mouth. If it feels moist, if it suckles and it's warm, you're on the right track. If it's cold, you need an incubator. If it's, if it's dry, that dog needs to be hydrated. And there's a number of ways that you can do that. One of which is to give it more goat's milk. And the other one is, is that you can give it an injection under the skin of a, a lactating ringer solution, or basically a saline solution. Um, and if it won't suckle, that's the time that the feeding tube comes into play. You can buy these products at My Breeder Supply. Uh, most of these things I've shown you are available there. Um, and uh, enjoy the videos and thanks for watching. Bye everybody.